Are you sick of spending hours in game collecting pine cones? Tired of dying over and over again to mix packers and losing your progress? Hey, it's Ari, and I'm here to help you grow into a big boy or girl in Path of Titans. Growing in Path of Titans can be really frustrating. The game isn't all that fun until you reach adult stage, and depending on the dinosaur you pick, growing to an adult can literally take days, especially if you're solo and are constantly running into toxic players that kill you. My first tip to grow quickly in Path of Titans is to group up because group quests give a lot more experience than solo quests. Your immediate reaction to this might be, but Ari, I don't have any friends. Listen, listen. You can either find friends to play with in Discord or Reddit, or just spam out a bunch of invites to people in the game. Once you have a group going, just hog all the quests to yourself and complete them as quickly as possible because the more you have contributed to a group quest, the more growth you get. Obviously, if you're playing with someone who is actually your friend, you probably shouldn't complete the entire quest on your own, because they might find that pretty rude. But, if you invited a bunch of randoms on the server to your group and they accepted your invite, then hey. It's free real estate. Also, a lot of the time, if you have a group quest, you might also get a personal quest to collect the same item. And collecting one item will count for both quests, so you basically get double the experience off of one item. Let me just mention, don't do the spam invites method if you're on an unofficial community server because most of them have a rule against spamming out invites and I don't need anyone coming in my comments and blaming me for being banned from a server. My second big tip is to avoid official servers at all costs and play on an unofficial community server. This might actually get me some hate comments because there's a lot of official purists out there. And if you prefer officials over unofficials for any reason, that's totally fine and valid. But if you are someone who is playing on officials and you hate how growth costs days of your life and your left kidney because of the minuscule amount of growth you get and the fact that you're constantly getting killed by toxic mix packing KOSers, then let me tell you about community servers. Aside from being able to boost how much growth you receive from quests, the majority of community servers have this magical thing called passive growth enabled. Wow. Which is a feature the developers themselves actually implemented into the game, but for some reason don't have enabled on official servers. Passive growth basically causes your dinosaur to slowly grow over time as you just play and exist in the game. Some servers have passive growth set to grow your dinosaur very quickly in no time at all, and other servers have it set as more of just a slight extra boost in addition to the normal collect-a-thon quests. Apart from the boosted growth, most community servers have their own rules that they enforce and players on the server must follow these rules. Usually these rules prevent giant mixpacking groups from forming and prevent other toxic behaviors. Of course, a troll or two will always slip in and cause grief on any server, but you're much less likely to run into one on community servers. A lot of people say they hate community servers because of power-hungry admins and annoying rules, but honestly, if you just follow these few universal rules that pretty much every community server has and you don't act toxic yourself, you'll be fine. My third tip is to use the growth buff you get by logging out in your home cave. If you don't already know, if you log out in a home cave, the next time you log in, you'll get this pretty purple bar on your screen. Seeing this means you have boosted growth from doing quests for the duration of this buff. It's super helpful and I definitely recommend taking advantage of this mechanic. Do keep in mind you need to be logged out for at least an hour to receive the buff, and the longer you're logged out, the larger the buff will be. My fourth tip is to starve yourself. No, but actually, let yourself get very hungry until you get this little quest to pop up. Once you get the fine food quest, eat until the quest is completed and just repeat the process over again. This is a bit easier to do as an herbivore since berry bushes are everywhere. If you're a carnivore doing this quest, make sure you know where gore spawns are so you don't actually starve to death. Okay, and for my last tip, I'm shamelessly going to promote my other video that I made a few weeks ago. Even if you're not new to the game, you may still find some of this information useful that's in this video. I got quite a few comments from people who were surprised at some of the advice I gave because they just weren't aware of it before. The tips I give in this video will also indirectly help you grow, so I definitely recommend giving it a watch. And that's it!
I hope these tips help you, and if you learned something, please do give this video a like and subscribe for my future content. Also, I wanted to say thank you for 500 subscribers! I've been creating videos for a little over a month now, and I'm just so surprised and just thankful for all the support I've received from you all. As I grow my channel, I have a lot of exciting things I want to try out and share with you guys, so be sure to stick around for that.